ओके इन गुड मॉर्निंग कॉल ओपी सो टुडे वी आर ऑब्जर्विंग आवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक नंबर फोर सोर्सेस ऑफ डेटा फॉर द सिस्टमेटिक्स आई थिंक ऑलरेडी वी हैव सीन अबाउट द मॉर्फोलॉजी एज ए सोर्स ऑफ डेटा फॉर द सिस्टमेटिक्स सो इन सेकंड लेक्चर वी आर ऑब्जर्विंग फॉर द एनाटॉमी एज ए सोर्स ऑफ डेटा फॉर द सिस्टमेटिक सो वी आर नोइंग सिस्टमेटिक्स इज नथिंग बट द एज द इट इज द स्टडी ऑफ द डिटेल टेक्सोनॉमिक कंडीशंस टेक्सोनॉमी इज नथिंग बट एज इट इज द कलेक्शन आइडेंटिफिकेशन नॉमिन क्लेचर एंड क्लासिफिकेशन सो ऑल दीज सिस्टम्स जनरली डन and then it is called as a systematics so what is the role of the anatomy as a source of data in the plant systematic so i think oh, already we are knowing the first organ of the plant it is the leaf so in the leaf there are different types of stomata are there just to i will overlook then we will see the in detail so different types of stomata uh, we are knowing anomocytic type and isocytic type डायसाइटिक टाइप एंड द पैरासाइटिक सो दीज टोमेटा टाइप्स आर जनरली बेस्ड ऑन द गार्ड सेल नंबर एंड द सब्सिडरी सेल्स नंबर एंड देयर अरेजमेंट सो हियर वी आर यू आर ऑब्जर्विंग द फर्स्ट टाइप इज देयर एनोमोसाइटिक सो टू गार्ड सेल्स आर देयर एंड कवरिंग सराउंडिंग दीज अदर सेल्स आर द सब्सिडरी सेल्स यू सी द डिटेल डायग्राम्स अपर एंड द डोर साइड राइट दैन सेकेंड इन एनी सोसायटीक देर इज हैविंग द जनरली द टू गार्ड सेल्स एंड दे शोज द देर इज हैविंग द स्पेसिफिकली द कैरेक्टर्स एज ए सबसेडरी सेल्स आर द मेनी इन एनो सोसायटी यू आर ऑब्जर्विंग दे शोज द नंबर इज जनरली हैविंग फोर टू फाइव राइट Uh, but yeah, in any scientific number is also more. Five cells or three cells are there, subsidiary cells. In diastatic, uh, you are observing the guard cells and subsidiary cells are there. So subsidiary cells are uh, perpendicular to the guard cells, and in parasitic, the subsidiary cells are the parallel. So therefore, generally this record is seen in the members of the dicot. right so dicot mem uh, members uh, basically they have in the such type of the arrangement is there then second point is there as we have no uh, there is a wood anatomy is there so wood is generally seen in the shrubs trees and the lianas are there lianas is nothing but the woody climbers they are commonly called as a lianas for example entera Uh, is the one large climber then in gymnosperm nitum you are knowing then in the uh, uh, wood anatomy the secondary growth which is due to the cambium generally seen in the dicot right regularly so it is having the very important source then secondary the wood portion shows it nothing but the secondary xylem so it shows the facial structures so tracheids are generally narrow in the width and long in the length and they are tapering at the both ends and the cells are absent in the angiosperm right they are present in the gymnosperm morally then these are the broad horizontal plate like and jointed end to end to form the tube formation so transport of water generally takes place through these vessels and the tracheids because these are the major part of the secondary xylem then already we are knowing vascular bundle in a for bs anatomy we have studied so in dicot vascular bundles are in the ring and in monocot vascular bundles are the scattered right we are observing the diagrams here so here you are observing this is the ts of the dicot stem is there so generally uh, dicot root is there so root so the root here then uh, lower portion piriform layer then cortex region 
endodermis and uh, there is the arrangement of xylem and the phloem so this pink color stain after the saponin they show the xylem cells because why they are staining because the lignin content is there so lignin gets stained and other rounded bluish color green color these are the phloem cells so they are at different uh, position different radius so therefore in root generally the vascular bundle shows xylem and phloem as a radial type this is also a one type so you take uh, this uh, uh, information then secondly here you are observing comparative uh, structure of the dicot and the monocot stem right so on the left hand monocot is there you see vascular bundles are scattered and the ground tissue is there there is no label of the uh, your cortex right but whereas in the dicot stem ts of stem it shows root uh, stem here epidermis hypodermis then general cortex then endodermis and inside the endodermis all vascular bundles are the in the ring arranged right so each vascular bundle shows the cambium along the cambium outer side uh, phloem is there and inside xylem is there so this is simple uh, description just we have to uh, remember <coughs> again we have to mention about the characteristics of this xylem and uh, sorry uh, these tracheids and the vessels in the dicot so tracheids are the part of the xylem and these are elongated narrow tube like structures they are hard thick and lignified and the wall uh, lignified walls with large cell cavity whereas these tracheids are also found alone in the wood of the ferns and the gymnosperm such as the pine pines are there pines are is nothing but the genus pinus is there and it is the main conduction of water and the mineral is the main function and to give the mechanical support to the plant so this is for, these are the character for tracheids and same thing for the vessels are there these are cylindrical then here you are observing the uh, diagrams but before that we will see the comparative character so they shows the vessel structures form of in the row cells and they are placed end to end the vessel cells are connected by means of water then uh, uh, yeah, means of the plates with the pores through which water moves upward side and the vessels are only found in the angiosperm such as mango tree is there so here we are knowing so mango tree is uh, there so here the conduction of water and the minerals uh, from the root to the leaves and giving the mechanical support these are the important function for the vessel so you remember this comparative uh, characters and the diagram for this one so vessel diagram and the tracheal diagram so after this uh, difference you see some of the uh, diagram for the tracheids are there different types so in the types the first uh, a diagram it shows the uh, with the multiple uh, perforations are there partitions are there you see a diagram vertical section and the cross section so in this it shows like this in the second one uh, b c and d right so they are with simple perforations are there you are observing this uh, character for the tracheids are there same thing generally other part so after secondary tissue we have to give the weightage to the epidermal tissue system so in the uh, epidermal tissue system generally epidermis is uniseriate and multiseriate uniseriate means only one uh, uh, row of the cells where the single cells are in the one row and multiseriate means by uh, two or three or four cells are there so like this one 
The stomata structures in distinct families anomocytic, anisocytic, dicytic, parasitic. Then, uh, in the gramine members, monocot members are there. So, they show the special type as the cork and the silica cells are there. So, it comes the, in anatomy. Then, trichomes are there. Trichomes are nothing but the hairs which are unicellular, multicellular scale plate like stellate or star shaped and the secretory glands are there we are uh, observing in some plants uh, if there is the uh, having the due to trichomes irritation is there right khatskhoili no khatskhoili plant uh, so they, it shows the due to their different secretory glands then floral anatomy in floral anatomy uh, that is the anatomy of the flower so it uh, shows the significant uh, phylogeny of angiosperm phylogeny means the similarity and the differences in the characters for example carpel vascular trace in the ranin pilisi ranin pilisi member means ranzai samjhat tyaza je carpel je pahila tar tyamade vascular tissue sudha saporto tyamade so therefore it is the one uh, important anatomical reference is there you have fruit made in fruit origin of akin fruit for example renin pilus you have thallic drum you have follicle fruit of the delphinium as you the number reduction in the number of anthers are there so these are some uh, characters uh, for the uh, epidermal tissue system here you are observing this is the good section of the leaf which shows the epidermis so here generally in epidermis we are knowing the upper and lower epidermis is there generally upper epidermis shows less stomata but lower epidermis shows the more stomata then mesophyll is divided into palisade and the spongy parenchyma you just uh, see remember uh, this uh, diagram so there is having the palisade uh, cells are the columnar and these are parenchymatous not uh, more thick and the spongy uh, parenchyma these are also parenchymatous cells but the cavity is present they store the water and lower uh, epidermis it shows the multi layered epidermis sometimes or it is generally uh, in uh, different example epidermis having the different character then vascular bundle vascular bundle uh, tissue which one this pink color is the xylem and the um, uh, green color is the phloem in vascular bundle so bundle sheath in monocot is different uh, present uh, in monocot bundle sheath is present endodermis is present in di uh, here so deep structure is there we are observing uh, this is the uh, epidermal here and the trichomes are there their position they develop from the epidermis then stomata are there stomatal pore is there you see the magnified portion the subsidiary cells and the guard cells are there generally two guard cells are present in the each stomata then here also the magnified portion of the showing the position of uh, guard cells and the stomata are there right then types of these stomata anomocytic anisocytic dicytic and the parasitic then you see direct photograph from the plants the trichomes how are the trichomes on the leaf so different star shaped multicellular trichomes then unicellular trichomes are there uniseriate are there stellate stellate means the star shaped then uh, there are the uh, rhizodermis from the epidermis generally the trichomes are developing right and uh, right hand diagram it is having the glandular hair so glandular hair is the one character so some more diagrams magnified here so uniseriate this one star shaped then some photographs are there for uh, our observation and uh, this is a star shaped uh, trichome is there so i think you have to remember the what is the role of the anatomy there are many examples but just you remember this is the uh, as a source of data in the all angiospermic plant 
and we are knowing more than 2.5 lakh angiospermic plants are there and each plant is having the different type of the anatomical character in wood anatomy in the epidermal anatomy then stomata characters are the different so this is our today's uh, lecture in the next lecture we will see about the uh, so cytology as a data source for the systematics okay so thanks to all have a nice day